friends, welcome back. Um, so today we're gonna be watching episode 203 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The name of the episode is A School Hard, so that's interesting. Don't really have any suspicions yet, but let's just say I'm scared and ready to do this, so let's go. Think of me as your judge, jury, and executioner. This guy is so creepy. And transform the school lounge into a habitable place for adults. The this poor girls, cool, what have they done to deserve this and much And may suffering. affect what That's I tell mean. your parents when I meet them. Are we clear? I'm clear. Don't you feel clear? But he's always trying to impress her We're mom. very clear. Especially yeah. after everything she did. Because you mess up this time. Okay, what's, what's just, really bad, what's gonna happen to the shield girl? Fine. Are you crazy? What did you say that when something bad is gonna happen? What do you mean? Nothing's gonna happen. Not until some dummy says, as happen. long as nothing bad happens. It's the ultimate jinx. What were you thinking? <laughs> what were you even thinking at all? Well, you guys don't know. I feel like he has no idea what Maybe goes on in their different. heads, and it's really funny. Oh my god. For a second I thought that was Sheila, but that can't be Sheila. The outfit is a little bit too... Matrix. Spike? I know him! <laughs> what? I'm so confused right now. I knew he was gonna be a part of Buffy, oh, but I thought that was like the later seasons. What the fuck? <laughs> what is Spike doing? Okay, I'm so confused, but I'm excited. But I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Can you do it? Yeah. This kid is creeping me out more this every weekend, single episode, especially now that the master is gone and he's in charge. Power. If every vampire who said he was at Spicer. the place of fiction was actually there... <gasps> so, who do you kill for fun around here? Mm -hmm. Who are you? Spike. I knew that. But good way to present yourself. Anointed guy. I read about you. Please tell me he's not like teaming up with the anointed because that's really, 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 really bad. You got slayer problems. Uh. Drusilla. Damn. Okay, he looks so different. You he's so much younger. Shouldn't be walking around. You. I feel like we met Drusilla. We met her, or at least we heard of her an angel. We'll get in along. This one has power. I think we saw her in flashbacks. I don't know. I could feel it from the outside. Drusilla, yeah, you're really he's the creepy. big noise in these. Everything I put in the ground withers and dies. <laughs> Ma'am, she's real Sorry. creepy. I'm cold. Oh my god. Who is Could this you? bitch? I'm the princess. <sighs> that's what okay. you are. Okay, that's a good answer, I suppose. That's a little bit creepy. Me and Drew, we're moving in. Kill her. Kill her, Spike. No. Kill for me. It's done, baby. This episode can't possibly Can be of Spike trying to kill Buffy, because... I'll chop her no. into messes. No, you won't. But we moved once because of you getting in trouble. And I had to start <sighs> a new business, not to mention a new life and a whole new town. Hello, ma'am. Can and you stop using that against Buffy and try and be a little bit more supportive what I don't and not want doubt is her? to be disappointed in you again. Mom, it's the last thing that I want to. What the fuck? Why would you say that to your daughter? I'm trying. I really, really am. Hurts. I just... I have a lot of pressure on me right now. Wait till you get a job. Sleep tight. <laughs> she already has something that's worse than a job. Uh, I swear, I... I know that I'm trying to understand where this mom comes from, and I know that she's worried, and I know that Buffy, you know, like, burned down the gym or whatever, but, like, exactly. But her mom has to, like, be a little bit more understanding, more show. supportive, believe in her she more, really have faith bar. in your daughter. Fish tank? An extraneous lunar cycle. Ooh, okay, so. Accurately calculated the Mesopotamian they're calendar. bonding more, and we're not Hoover even seeing it. To read something that was published I've been studying only 12 minutes. No wonder my brain's fried. I honestly don't understand how people can study like in a club with music. Oh my god. Nuts. Bye. What is he gonna do? 
I feel like he has the potential to start off evil. Because Angel kind of started off already a nice guy, but I think maybe Spike is going to start off as evil and have a redemption arc. And Angel, he was already nice, you know, he had a good relationship with Fred and everything from the start, but I think he might be a bad guy right now. I don't know where his alliances lie. Some big guy out there trying to bite someone. Oh, come on, Buffy. Don't fall for the fucking trap. Slayer. I actually Slayer. really want to see Buffy give Spike the biggest punch of his life. Buffy, don't let yourself be beaten by a random ass vampire. They're becoming a really good trio, like separating everyone does what they can and it's working out well for them, huh? You're mine. Is Spike gonna run in and save her? So that he can seem like a good Spike, guy? Give me a hand. Shit, man. Nice work, love. Mm. Oh yeah. You find out on Saturday. What happens on Saturday? Definitely. I kill you. Like, if you're gonna kill someone, like, a little tip would be that surprise is usually good. Um, I don't want to tell you how to kill your people. I'm sure you know that a little bit better than me, but why would you do that? Oh, what the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> Not good. Oh, Not Shayla, funny. sweet Shayla. Who are you? He's Who do like, you want me to be? Come on, you've been dating for what, like 200 years? You don't know what a girl means when she says maybe she'll show. For a second, I thought she said we've been dating, and I was like, you have what? Only a two year that's still like. Oh, not dolls again! Please, God, not dolls. Mercedes speaks out of turn. She's a bad. This is the place for us. The Hellmouth will restore you, put color in your They're cheeks. They're moving into the Hellmouth. speaking. Is Spike coming in for real? It's not just Stop. him in an episode of leaving. Smile down on us. Then they're so creepy, but they're cute together. They have like chemistry. They have a je ne sais quoi to um, inspire Buffy party. with her friends. You should go up with them and play. Oh my true. god! I think sometimes that all my hair will fall out and all be bored. Never happened. Bro, Drusilla is like. All right, I'll go up and get What is she? With the okay, so she's a vampire. Oh, shit. Shit. I mean, if this guy Spike is as mean as you all said, it should be over pretty quickly. I like that they asked her to help. For you on Saturday. I'd be there for you myself if I didn't have a leg wax. You guys, hope Willow shows you the library. I have to stay here and hostess. Right, the library. But the library is full uh, of snakes, uh, ma'am. Don't go to the Gi library. Giles and everyone is locked in there studying. Right, French class it is. Oh God, she's obviously not going to be able to keep them apart all night. And the effort that she's making is just gonna make them meeting so much worse. <laughs> oh, the tension. Has his... Hi, I'm Joyce Summers. I'm Buffy's mother. Principal Snyder. I'm afraid we need to talk. My office is down here. No, Buffy's mom's gonna lecture her. Oh, shit, this is not going to end well. Hey, Regilia, don't be so you. smug. Regilia, have some lemonade. <laughs> okay, Willow, I guess someone has some mean bones inside of her. Yes. And his nickname by torturing his victims with railroad spice. That's where he gets his well, name from. He's barely two hundred. He's not even as old as Angel. Fuck. He's killed them both. That's not a good sign, but I believe in Buffy, so I'm not worried. I'm. I am, but I'm trying to tell myself that I'm not. Now. Oh, fuck, man. What did he say? I'm gonna punch this principal. If he wrecked their relationship more than it already seems to be wrecked, you're gonna hear from me, Principal Flutie. Holy fuck. Oh my god, is this the moment where Buffy's gonna have to show herself to her mom and her mom's gonna figure out she's a slayer? What can I say? Oh shit! Wait, her mom has to have seen the vampires. 
Oh my god! Her mom's really gonna find out? I can't believe it's gonna be this early. It can't be, right? Isn't her mom confused about how she knows exactly what to do when she's not afraid to like throw a chair at them? Shit, 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 shit. I don't think this is the moment yet. I don't think her mom's gonna find out. Not yet. They grabbed Cordelia! Yes, little different Cordelia! Yes, I am loving these friendships. They held hands and they were like, oh. But if I was Buffy's mom and there was a whole ass like vampire infestation the one time I visited campus, there is no way I would take my daughter back there. I'm a real kind of guy. You're too old to eat. But not to kill. He just, it's like he wasted that... perfectly good food. This feels weird to say, but that just shows how much worse he is. Okay. It was better if he had eaten him. I didn't get much of a look, but is there something wrong with their faces? Yes. Oh, she doesn't know. Okay. PCP. So she's not going to know. It's she's not going to find PCP. out. Nobody goes out, nobody comes in until I say so. Do you hear me? Who do you think? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm the one that knows how to stop them. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, Isn't her mom like a tiny little bit suspicious or confused kitty, kitty, or something? Kitty. <laughs> yeah, kitty. Oh god. Okay. Shit. I find one of you use their bones to bash your head in. I don't think Spike's very nice, huh? Are you getting a word picture? Oh here? no no no. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Spike. <laughs> I have to this go. weekend is worried about Rupert. Giles, and she calls him Rupert. Be careful. Push these back as soon as I. Oh shit, Buffy! Why would you scare Buffy. me like this? You know I I get scared with right. jump scares. Watch your back. Holy shit! How does she? How? But physics, ma'am. Why don't you Gravity. sit down? Gravity. I don't know. This is my how? school. I'm beginning to see a certain mother-daughter Oh my god, yes. Please tell me that Buffy's mom is, like, gonna no! trust her daughter. Look, you heard what Buffy said. She it's does so trust Buffy. That's good. At least. It's the least you can do. Oh, the vampire's gonna eat him. The principal's gonna die soon. He has to. Yeah. He's not a character that's gonna Don't last. Stop. It doesn't feel like it. Jesus Christ, the spike is, like, actually really, like, mean. But he's really funny. This feels like Cordy all over again. Okay, so Angel's gonna come in and he's gonna help. Oh my god. There's no way she's seeing that, right? Buffy, are you okay? I'm fine, Mom. Buffy, look in. Sorry, I'm late. There's some really weird guys. She's a vampire like... now, isn't Shh. she? Yeah, I know. Of course she is. They're trying to kill us. Shit, shit. This should be fun. Uh, Buffy, do not turn your back on the lady with the axe, who is most definitely a vampire. <laughs> I taught you to always guard your perimeter. What the fuck? You should have someone out there. I did. I'm surrounded by idiots. What's new with you? Everything. Yeah. So Come they up against this slave, yet tortured act. Keeps the way that they're both, like, <laughs> gonna be into Buffy, I know Spike isn't People yet, but this is that funny. Wanna bite before we kill her? Mm -hmm. Okay, Angel, if this is your plan... Stay behind me. It's not looking an awful lot like a plan right now. In a minute, go! Okay. Buffy! I know that there's no so way that a mom would actually, like, go and let talking. her no, teenage no, daughter uh, stay behind. So. What? Oh. You think fuck. you can fool me? He does. You were my sire, man. You were my Yoda. Things change. Oh, Not shit. us. No. Well, it's gonna be an interesting fight scene. None, neither of them can die right now. No, stay there. Joyce. Joyce, you can't know your your daughter's a slayer. Xander's really learning how to kick ass. Is he taking classes with Buffy and Giles and stuff? Because he's really learning how to fight. And I like that he's he's like learning that. Because I don't think Willow and Regilia have any interest in that. Girl, yeah! Oh my god. Not as much as this Oh shot. Joyce comes to save the day. You get the hell away from my daughter. Yes, Joyce. I told you not to come, Women. but you were right. 
it's good to see that she actually cares because I was Nobody worried. That was probably one of their sweetest scenes together, maybe. Yes, you know, um, I will understand if you decide to start avoiding me. Guys, so they're adorable. Come on. Why didn't you clock I'm that? glad that these two are starting to get along because on the finale, yeah, what's the they had so much tension. What you have in mind, the truth? Right. Gang related PCP. So he knows about vampires. Okay. So this principle is into mystical crap. I've said that since the puppet show. Principal Snyder said you were a troublemaker. And I could care less. I have a daughter who can take care of herself. Who's brave and resourceful and thinks of others in a crisis. No matter who you hang out with or what dumb teenage, I'm gonna sleep better knowing all that. Oh, you guys. How long till this wears off and you start ragging on me again? Exactly. Ask for some aspirin. And can you please send some aspirin? Hey. <laughs> that was the perfect ending to the episode. Why are they adding another scene? Family and friends. That sure as hell wasn't in the brochure. You're okay, you okay, Their height's different. He looks like a puppet because of how tiny he is. Only I do this. Spike? What is he doing? What is he planning? Oh, that's really mean to do that to a kid. From now on, we're gonna have a little less ritual and a little more fun around here. Uh -huh. Spike is already coming in, like, messing everything up and all the dynamics and just everything that's happening. And I love their contrast with, like, the his white hair, her white dress, and then her dark hair and his dark clothes. It's like they're kind of opposites in a way. I don't know. I thought that was interesting. Okay, so this episode was really, really interesting. And obviously, the first thing that we have to talk about is Spike. So... I had no idea when Spike was coming into Buffy. I imagined that he was going to at some point because they talked about him in Angel a little bit. You know, he was part of like season five. So I knew that eventually he was going to come in. I didn't think it was going to be in season two. I honestly thought it was going to be like season, I don't know, four or five or something like that. So I'm surprised. The way that they left the episode makes me believe that he's going to be in like Maybe not all the episodes this season, but it feels like he could be one of those connecting stories throughout the season. One of the big bad guys that I have been hunting for. Because um, I thought maybe they were going to get rid of him for now and then bring him back like next season. But they clearly didn't get rid of him. And again, I feel like I would like a little bit more of closure. Like he got scared of Buffy's mom. Feels a little bit weak. Like, honestly, if he wanted to kill her mom, he could have, like, done it in, like, a second. So, I don't know. I feel like I would have liked to see a little bit more of, like, a deeper reason as to why he went, like, running away and didn't, like, try and kill Buffy again or anything like that. Um, but I know that it's just to add on to the tension of him, like, I guess, constantly hunting down Buffy and, like, looking for Buffy and everything like that, which is just gonna make me stressed. This was funny because, um... Angel and, and Spike don't have a good relationship in Angel, so it was really interesting to see, not the beginning of that, um, but it was interesting to see like them reuniting after so long and being friends but not really. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were gonna really hate each other, um, so I guess it was a little bit of a surprise. I do, I don't remember if they talked about that a lot in Angel, because um, I, I like barely have a brain but I kind of want to learn a little bit more about Angel siring um, Spike because does that mean they have like a sort of a bond? Like in the Vampire Diaries, um, the person who sired, the, like the vampire who sired the other one, like they had a really special bond and those kind of things. And they seem to have a bond, but I don't know how like big it is so I guess I'm really curious to learn about those vampire bonds how they work if they have like 
control over the other and those kind of things like how far does the bond go i do not know but i would like to find out and i'm sure that i will eventually um and i thought that this was interesting because it went back to the original buffy which is you know vampire and she was hunting vampires i really really like what they did with the mom um because it was obvious that at one point they needed an episode where the mom was like super close to finding out, but she wouldn't. And I'm glad that she didn't because for a few seconds there, I was like, holy shit, she's going to figure it out on season two, like the beginning of season two. Um, but I feel like they, they can still have a whole other season of Buffy's mom not knowing it yet. I feel like they might play that a little bit longer. Um, but it was really interesting to see. It definitely, you know, built up the tension and, um, made the stakes so much higher um and you know i felt like this was really an episode for minor characters if that makes sense because we got to see the principal we got to see buffy's mom we got to see angel we got to see spike you know we got to see all of the minor characters together i think maybe we're just missing like harmony um but i guess it was interesting to see a little bit more about each of them um it had a strong plot because spike is a very interesting character um, I have to say that I didn't really connect with him that much in Angel, um, and I thought I would because he was like besties with Fred for a whole like five minutes or something, and you guys know I love Fred, um, but I don't know, he just, he was nice in Angel, it's not that I didn't like him, I was just sort of indifferent about him, um, but this Spike feels a little bit more interesting, um, and I'm not saying just because he's mean, but he's really funny. Um, and I guess that is my type because Cordelia is the same and I really like her. Uh, so yeah, I'm like curious about his plans with the anointed. He seems to be like generating a bunch of chaos. I don't know what's that, what that's going to lead up to. I'm sure it's not going to be good, but I'm sure I'm going to have a blast while I, while I see it, you know, unravel and all those things. I definitely think that out of the three episodes that I've seen of this season so far, this was the strongest one, you know, not only just because it was nice to see different characters that we don't always see but because the story uh it made sense it felt real it it felt urgent and it 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 worked well and it had a resolution of sorts but it wasn't that much of a resolution so you know that there's more to come you know that you should be nervous but you're not like at the edge of your seat like oh no but what's gonna happen now you know you know that you can be calm for a little while but that soon your calmness will be disturbed I thought it was really, really nice for Buffy's mom to finally like reassure her and be able to see that her daughter isn't everything that other people make her out to be, you know, and be able to see firsthand who Buffy is. Um, I thought that was very important for Joyce, um, which, you know, that last scene made me like her a little bit more because uh, in my character rankings, when I was doing the character rankings for Patron, <laughs> Joyce was like dead last. Um, so I don't think I liked her a lot in season one. And, you know, you guys brought up great points about um, her really not understanding Buffy. So I'm, I'm definitely becoming more understanding of her point of view. But I definitely think she needs to treat Buffy a little bit better. And, you know, the ending of the episode, it gave me that. It gave me the reassurance that she gave Buffy. gave me some reassurance about her being a good mom. So that, that made me happy. You know, the, the angel and the... Uh, and Xander dynamic has to be one of my favorite ones. They really picked very interesting pairs this episode because it was Cordy and Willow and Angel and Xander, which are pairs that we have seen before, but that are usually people who don't really get along too well. Um, so it was interesting because both of them ended up bonding in order to like help each other, you know, like Cordy and Willow, like in the closet together and like, oh, let's pray and just like helping each other get through it, you know, and Xander helping Angel and trusting Angel, which that was big, y'all. That was really, really big. Um, so it was interesting. Uh, and Xander, you know, I'm really, really, really glad that he actually trusted Angel and that he didn't put himself first, which I feel like he does a lot. He's always like, oh no, this is about me and like, I love Buffy and Buffy's mine and me and all those things. So it was good to see that, um, to see that he cannot be stuck in that and he can talk to Angel without, you know, dying of jealousy. Like, good for you, Xander. Let's keep this up, bro. Um, and the next step is to get over Buffy and get another girlfriend um, or boyfriend. I'm cool with that, too. So, you know, just get over Buffy, bro. Please, I'm begging you. I have to say that I don't remember a single thing about Drusilla. And you guys are going to, like, crucify me in this, um, in the comments. I just know it because my memory is so bad 
Um, and I know that they have mentioned Drusilla, so I know that I should know things about her. And I don't. <laughs> Even the fact that she was a vampire was a surprise to me. I actually know nothing about her, which I guess is making this more interesting for me. Um, but I thought her dynamic with Spike was actually like really, really, really cool because she is creepy as fuck. I think that like out of all the villains we've seen, she actually seems like one of the creepiest ones. I'm not going to lie because she just she looks unstable. She sounds unstable. Like, I don't know what's going on in her head. I don't know if she's like doing OK in the head or if she's like kind of insane. Um, but she seems really weird. So I'm actually really excited to see her come back. And I'm not saying I'm not excited for Spike, but I'm actually more excited to see what Drusilla is going to do because this girl really weird and I really want to like know more about that. Like what's going on with her? Is she OK? Does she need therapy? I don't know. But I guess I'm going to find out. <laughs> um, but so I have to say that their addition to the to the episode and to the cast was just incredible. Um, I think it made the episode very strong. So I really appreciate it. But yeah, I think overall, it was a really fun episode. I really enjoyed it. And I'm even more excited for the next one now, I have to say. I think the season's starting to pick up again. Uh, so I'm excited to see what's going to happen.